destroy. See, I like that terror. Too too much. Much. I, I like that. I think that men should be that's stupid that's just dumb that's <laughs> yeah. just dumb that's so stupid yeah. I, I don't know man which women are you like talking to brother like, who, who, who are these women brother Africa is not a continent okay disclaimer this episode might be triggering for many people if you are triggered I'm leave, right here, leave a comment change. leave a comment down uh below and uh, you know just let us know what you think it does help us on the algorithm so whether you want to swear at us or you want to compliment us that's perfectly fine okay just stop no um but yeah th- that's your disclaimer if you're triggered by this episode it's your fault for watching but do leave a like before you go if you don't want to watch just leave a like and make sure you subscribe it's weird by the way this time last year we were recording that third episode the one where we couldn't stop laughing is it that one yeah yeah oh, that was it so a year f- uh, a year later we're here so this is good so what we wanted to do the reason why we're talking about this is because being a guy especially western in western countries right now is confusing uh, how you meant to behave? You can't act like your natural self. You can't ask. Uh, you can't act like y- the self that is, uh, you know, you're encouraged to by your religion or whatever. So, what are you meant to do? Okay, and there's a lot of struggles. So, what should we do? Should we first start off with some of the videos that we see nowadays? What do you, what do you think? I think let's let's start off. With, let's watch one video at least, okay, to show that exactly what I'm uh, what I'm talking about. Okay, no, no, I think this, this video is the perfect one to start off with. Okay, that's fine. Okay. <clears throat> All right, Daniel. Okay, uh, I'll ask you. Okay, first, first thing, yeah. Uh, I'll ask uh, Jamie. Jamie said terrible, so I want to know what. What do you mean terrible? Yes, the uh, what's the thing? The double, double standards. Um, yeah, girls keeping a little kid warm. My, <laughs> I'm gonna come out. No, I'm gonna come out weird. He's just keeping the kid warm in it, out in the rain, out in the cold, and then as soon as switches over to Mbappe, he's doing exactly the same. It's just because the, he's a guy, he's doing it. It's weird. It's creepy. It's you could probably go as far to say pedophilic. It's wrong. Gareth, what do you what do you think? You know what it is, yeah. Like you guys can agree as well. It's like you know, like people have got big names, whether it's footballers, actors, or anything. They find. The littlest things, yeah, that they can just um, uh, to make it to make it negative, you know, when it should be something positive. When it should be something positive, and it's what exactly what Jamie said. It's double standards. They're both doing the exact same thing. One of them's getting praise for them. One of them's getting um, uh, what's it? Uh, not assaulted. What was one of the thing? One of them, like people are criticizing. Him. Yeah, that's it. Criticizing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, what about you, Daniel? Have you seen stuff like this before, or? Is it new to you? It's normalized today's society. Normalized how? Huh? Normalized how? Normalized how? Um, like um, you got it. So let's say yeah, a girl cried, yeah, everyone would be so simple. Sympathetic. Yeah. yeah, and whereas a boy cried, they'll call him a little girl, like oh yeah, man up and stuff. The word man up, everyone uses the word man up, like put your feeling aside, yeah, forget everything. Even if it hurts you, you ain't allowed to cry or talk about it. You need to just keep it within you, and yeah. Uh, but I think it also applies to you know like this, um, these football players. They obviously, I wouldn't call it showing affection, but they're like looking after the girls, right? Because the little girls, they in the rain. To be honest, what are those little kids there for in the first place? If you think about it, they're there for, as like mascots, like, oh, yeah, you know, this is the next generation or whatever they do it for, right? So he's just keeping them warm because she doesn't, she's not getting paid to be there, I don't think. She's just there. It's, it's like, not, oh, not, you think they paid little kids to just go stand there? It's, um, 
Um, no, I didn't know that they don't get paid. The little kids. No, the, I don't think it's about pay. I think it's like an honor there, or you you apply and you you get in there. I'm not sure. Someone can correct me in the comments. But the the idea that I'm talking about is like. Um, End of the day, when the ladies did it, oh, she's a mom, she's like a big sister, blah, blah, blah. When the man does it, oh, look, he's a creep, he's a weirdo, look, she's uncomfortable. She's like this because it's raining, it's cold. Yeah, she's not like that because he's going to touch him. Otherwise, why would she be sent out there to, to be thing? End of the day, the footballers always grab them like that. Or they stand behind them. If, they, if Then you have to make that look dodgy as well, that she's standing behind them. It's not like she's a grown woman or something like that. It's a little kid. You know, innocence is innocence. And it's made to uh, the kind of uh, culture we live in. Everything's made so dirty now. And this kind of mindset that we're about to watch, yeah, that's this is exactly the reason why. Uh, Gareth, could you? If men were that alpha, then they wouldn't be that bothered by this. It doesn't really help us when it comes to boys growing up. And that is one of my worries, that for teenage boys now, they are so terrified of the consequences of putting a foot out of line. It's hard enough being a young teenager, working out how things are, working out how to do dating and all of that, without the terror that if you touch in the wrong place at the wrong time, you may find that your whole life is destroyed. See, I and like that terror. Too much. I, I like that. As a I mother think of a teenage boy, frightened. I don't like really? that That's terror. That's the worst thing I've ever heard. I awful. think that men should be frightened. I think that attitude actually is part of the problem too. That's, to me, toxic femininity. Is that healthy? Yes, I the think it point. is, actually. I think it's better to not have a physical relationship than to have one that could ruin a woman's life. But then how do they ever start? Well, don't, if you're not 100% sure. What are you going to have, a bunch of Newton boys who never had? So we actually it's do have like... that. Gen Z is having far less sexual relationships yes, than any ever they before. are. It's true. And Young people have stopped having sex. Alright, Jamie, you've got opinions. Share them. What are your opinions? No, so say... Okay, see, she has been actually had something happen to her by people. Okay, fine, fair enough. But then say, like, the ones who haven't done anything, this woman, she's going to maybe stereotype every single one. Mm -hmm. Got this special phrase, I love it, I love it. All men, all yeah. men, all men. Like, it doesn't make sense. Half of the world is men, and even not all of them are the grown adults. Okay, so bit da 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 but... Say the select few that has hurt them, fair enough, they've hurt them, and they're scumbags for that, fair enough. But then for the people that, like the teenagers, starting off their first couple relationships, like they're saying, they're going to be terrified, they don't know what to do, because they'll take, like with Mbappe, any really small, minuscule detail or thing, and they're going to blow it up, and it's going to be a problem. Oh, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. That point where she said, unless you're 100% sure, no one's at 100% sure. Even people in their 30s or 40s aren't 100%. So how are kids starting off brand new to this part of their life going to be 100% sure? No one's perfect. It just, like, this is the reason, like, like girls who have this mindset, yeah, who are like this, this is the reason why, like, any age, starting from teenager to, like, all the way to our age or older, this is why they're scared to get into a relationship or dating. Because they take something small and flip it onto you. Uh, and it's your first time as well, isn't it? So you're... It's your first time dating, you don't know what to do. And all of a sudden, when the females are acting like this, yeah, so toxic, then because this is their first ever relationship, yeah, they're going to be like, oh, so is this what dating is? Is this how a relationship with the girl is? Do you get it? And then they get the wrong side of it, you know, because it's actually not like that. The problem is the girl itself, the way that she's thinking. And she's not the only one. There's many people out there like that. And it just messes up with the um, mental health of the, you know, especially young boys, teenagers. You know, you know, for me, yeah, the case is more, why is, because we already said uh, before in it, like, Islam is different. Yeah, we don't even do this dating stuff, so there's not even any, remember I said about, um, you know, uh, if a woman's father is in front of you, or thing, you're not going to do anything anyway, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so in Islam, that's kind of protected if you follow it properly, okay? But I, I don't understand in this culture, the Western culture, I don't get the double standard here. You either... Allow all of it or don't allow none of it. Yeah. So the reason I'm saying, I'm not saying, she's saying assault, yeah? That, just so you guys know, yeah? Assault that she's talking about, she's not, they're not talking about the assault. They're talking about, if a, a, you know, when they're in a relationship, if they, the guy, let's say, goes for a kiss, yeah? That's taken as assault because like, oh, he done stuff to me. But that, your, your whole culture is built around that. That's what you show in movies and stuff. And it doesn't make sense. Feminism, okay? The feminism that used to exist, okay, the one that this country was very late in getting, to be honest, uh, I'm talking about the UK and America, um, feminism used to be a good thing, like allow women to work, allow women to vote, etc. Feminism has become some stupid thing, yeah, where allow women to be naked, the whole 
uh, community, the whole media, everything. You sexualized everything. Everything. Show, go to any award ceremony. Look at any award ceremony. Men are fully clothed. Yeah. Women have their skin hanging out. Okay. Men. There's not a single man with his abs out and his chesticles out. Nothing like that. He's just walking on the red carpet. He's normally suited up, booted up. The woman's half naked. And this is the culture. And they're not just they're talking stuff about stuff like this. Oh, they're assaulting me. Some of the stuff that she's talking about. She's not talking about touching, by the way. She's not talking about that. She's talking about looking, staring. It's such a weird double standard. You're opening up your advertising all of it. Look at TikTok, look at YouTube, look at anything. It's all nudity, nudity, nudity. And then you have apps like um, uh, OnlyFans where they're paying to uh, see naked stuff and, and all that stuff, which we, we can go into that. We can go into that today or another time, but that's stupid as well. And then they talk about this stuff. It doesn't make sense. It's like men are the evil ones, women are the bad ones. So now you're stuck. Okay, and that's just your interaction with women, which is why you lots were talking about dating last time, innit? About um, you're worried that women will take you for a spin, they take you for a ride. It's true. This is the kind of fear that you have, but it goes deeper than that, doesn't it? Like, um, so that's something men are not allowed to do. But there's so many things that men are not allowed to do. Yeah. For example, uh, let's say Daniel mentioned earlier about crying. Yeah, being thingy. When a man cries, yeah. As much as it's very healthy, I think men should cry. I think you should rem remember things like death, when you lose someone, when you're hurt. I think that's okay to cry because it's part of being human, isn't it? <coughs> but how is it perceived? How is it looked at when someone cries? That's the question. What do you guys think? Um, so basically, like, it's kind of, it's kind of normalised now, you can say. So yeah, it's normalised now because... It's like, oh, a woman can cry, they can let, let it out. Let it out, but mom's still stuck in. You let it out. Let it out, man, cry. Let it okay. out, and it's good for them. But then, when, even when Danny and men have feelings or whatever, they have to toughen up, they need to man up, they need to stop, they need to... Because if they cry, it shows them as weak, innit? But in reality, it's not. Because it helps you from whatever situation you are, crying it out will make you, um, it, it gets the weight off your shoulder and your chest, you know? And, it, and lo like what you said, it's healthy. Jamie, what were you just saying? Uh, there was something similar to what you just said, Gareth. I saw a video, I don't know if it was like BuzzFeed, like you, those sorts of ones where you have like four or five guys line up and either um, rate them out of their looks or their personality. There was one where one of the guys there, he was just saying, oh yeah, I've been, uh, da -da -da, I've had this in my life and he's been emotional and being open to the women and before he said anything he was top he was number one the second he opened his mouth and was being open and being genuine like that guess where he went guess where the he went on a rating Last. all the way to the bottom after just being yeah yeah i saw that yeah. Um, yeah. But, um, is it what's that website called? not website that youtube channel called they do like a lot of social experiments in a, in a box like a oh box. i know that what you're saying yeah, this yeah. One, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, I don't know these five Jubilee, guys. Jubilee. Some, one of them, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So the second he was he was being like emotional basically, sharing his feelings to the girls, the second he said that he was moved all the way to the bottom rating. Why? Because too much emo emotional baggage, is that why? Or just being emotional and they apparently <clears throat> didn't like it. He should be a man, he shouldn't be sharing his feelings, I guess. So That's should why you should it, then shouldn't it be one standard then that we operate by? Shouldn't it be like Either you can show your feelings and then be accepted like that, or you you shouldn't show your feelings. You just get on with it. Which which one? What do you actually? What do you guys think? Let, let go, Gareth. You tell me. What do you think it should be? With this whole with this whole thing. Mm. Yeah. No, I feel like um, you know the same thing that applies to women. The same thing applies to men. And I think it's well, men should cry. You shouldn't follow society, culture, or whatever. You need to man up tough, and you need to keep all your feelings inside of you. Because that will build up, build up, build up, and then it gets to a point where it's too much time and it explodes, and it gets really bad and out of hand, in it. But if you've done it earlier, let's say you let out a little cry, you tell your close family member, your close mates, a cousin, anyone, yeah, then you kind of they can give you help as well as it helps you mentally and physically. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you said physically. What do you mean? Uh, I do mean physically. Physically, as in feel like uh, so that's emotionally, not physical. I was meant to say emotionally, the way you feel inside, in it. Because if you don't tell anyone, when you build it up, it just gets worse and worse, in it. Because I was going to say for physically, I would have said you know, an affection or being into what? Yes, being what? Like mm -hmm. cuddling and stuff, like you two. What? What the fuck?
kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, uh, when, when you said physically, I was thinking more along the lines of your work is affected, you don't get up, you don't oh do stuff. God. Oh, that's um, true. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it would like that. You know, because um, that's what happens when you get, I mean, I'm sure this applies to everyone, not just men, but when people get depressed or anxious, they're like, oh, yeah, you know, I can't get up to Oh, yeah, it, affect, it affects your, I'm, I'm mute, I'm on mute. No, 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 you're good. Yeah, it, it affects your day-to-day uh, life mm. because you don't do your normal things. It just holds you back. And, and it's like that phrase you get, like, stuck into your bed, you can't get out. Yeah. And um, I think that's where most of the damage happens because the man, what happens then? Because of that one, whatever it's, it is. It's, quite, it's overwhelming for the man. That's it is. what it is. But what I'm trying to say is it becomes a rollover effect, like snowball effect. So it starts off something small, like, yeah. oh, I'm not going to get up. Yeah. And then it turns into, uh, I'm not going to tidy my room. And then it's, it gets into, well, I'm not going to cook any dinner for myself. I'm just going to keep yeah. ordering. Then the guy who's, let's say he's semi built he becomes a fatty, all right? Sorry, genuine. <laughs> but he becomes a fatty. I'm talking from personal experience here. Yeah? You become a bit of a fatty. And Bombastic then, side eye. And then what happens? No fat, you say gain weight. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. I say fatty. Okay. <laughs> so um, you become fat, and then what happens? You you become fat, and you start looking at your body. I'm not happy with myself now. Or uh, I need to go to the gym. I don't have money. And then oh, I don't have money. Then the next one, oh, I don't have money now. Oh, you know what? I can't do anything right. And it just roll over. And that's how you get there. Whereas if the standard is when something bad happens, okay, the first thing I'm going to do is. I'm going to pull it together. I'm going to do it. That's how men, I think, if you look at it naturally, look at the animal kingdom, okay, just as an example, yeah. right? Let's say a lion. Do you think a lion's ever been depressed in the wild? He's hungry, I'm sure. He, maybe he didn't find any meat, but I don't think he's ever been depressed like, oh, you know what, man? None of these lionesses are caring about my feelings. <laughs> All right, none of my babies look up to me. Uh, you know, I don't have the correct job. You know, I wanted to be head accountant of the lions. I wanted to count how, how much meat we collected during. This, they don't ha- animals don't have that problem. They worry about, I'm going to protect people and I'm going to make sure I'm the boss of whatever I'm the boss of. It doesn't mean that men, we have to be, everyone has to be a manager. Right? There's not, everyone works differently, but you should feel like you're a, the manager of your own life at least. I think that's something that's really missing. Hi everyone, it's Sadiq here. I uh, just wanted to say we've been doing this for just over a year now and so many of you have supported us, liked our videos, shared our videos and subscribed of course. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed. One particular subscriber is our friends at Web Dev Lab, who is our, I'm proud to say, our very first sponsors. Uh, they're sponsoring this video today and if you're looking to climb the ladder on any search engine, you want premium hosting services for very little, you want dependable support for your website, you want to increase your online image and online brand in the online world, all you have to do is click the link in the description below and quote Lads Talk and you'll be on your way to service that suits you. So once again, thank you WebDevLab for sponsoring our video, all of their details will be in the description below today, uh, so let's get back to the video. What about like, um, what kind of jobs should men do? That's one important one. Because uh, we had, uh, like, obviously not to knock down um, female, uh, women in, in the workplace. Um, mm. People in my family work. It's not, that's not why I believe that our women don't work. But I see this argument, a weird, really weird argument about... Um, oh, I know so, someone about, said, I don't want to talk about also. No, there was, about, well, hold on. No, there was this yeah. thing about equal pay in the workplace, right? Mm. Which I agree. It, I don't think you should be paid by... Your gender, you should yeah. be paid by the work you do. Yeah. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Okay, more, you're responsible of the work you do. That makes more sense, yeah? There was this thing that really annoyed me. There was this interview, I don't know if it was Piers Morgan or some, somewhere else. The lady goes, oh yeah, um, there's no uh, pay here, blah, 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 blah. And there's no opportunity for women to work in the office. It's mostly dominated by men. And then the interview, whoever it was, they said, uh, what about um, in the um, STEM department? STEM is like science tech. Um, like technology, engineering, you know, me- um, I think mechanics. If I butchered that, I apologize. But it's like technical things, you're working minds and stuff like that. How many women work there compared to men? And none of the women are fighting for those jobs, they're only fighting for office jobs, you know. And oh, yeah, we, we deserve equal rights in the office. You should also deserve equal rights as a carpenter, yeah. You should deserve equal rights as an engineer, or but they don't do that. They only go for the glamorous ones, the chill ones, the office, I'm on the computer, I'm gonna walk around in the glass. Building a resource it's, it's, building. It's, it's basically status, isn't it? Whatever job looks good. Like with engineering and labour work, yeah, it's messy, it doesn't look good on you, innit? You're yeah. dirty, your hands are, you know, 
dirty you get stuff in exactly your, in your yeah so it doesn't look cold. good and glamorous like what you said in it and it's not it's not seen as a high status job you know because you get yourself dirty you work a lot you know yeah but and also another thing is um like working the office and meaning different jobs have different um qualities you need for different jobs in it like let's say you you won't put someone who barely knows how to count numbers in a math related job right no. you can't do that it doesn't make sense you have to do it by the thing maybe you do a test or you do it somehow where you figure it out yeah in um office jobs okay all the arguments i've seen i'm not saying where i work or, or anything like that i've not seen this where I, in places i've worked but in the media the general media because obviously media chooses these topics to build up tension or like you know to get views out of it so the ones that i've seen in the media is are you know in the office uh there are less women in managerial positions okay i'm not in a managerial position i'm a guy last time i checked all right my boss is a woman i have, I have plenty of uh, managers who are women there's ma- men who are managers as well so what do you know what i mean so should i go I am a Bengali Muslim. There's not enough Bengali Muslim guys in thingy. I could say that. Do you know what I mean? But it's, it doesn't work like that. You build, you work yourself up. You prove that you can do it. You apply. There's so many things to it. It's just like complaining that there's not, there's not enough. And I don't want to sound like every other person who talks about this. Yeah, I believe it should be done on effort. Okay, and I believe yeah, women you should work. Men should also work. It's effort and experience. That's it. Because if you don't have the experience, why would you hire to the job? You're just gonna mess it up and mess up the company. And then I was gonna ask. Let me ask Danielle. Yeah, um, you, you know when you're, you know when you're, um, uh, when you're married. Yeah, when you're married and your wife uh, and your dynamic when you live at home. Yeah, okay. In that dynamic, does your do you? It's not about what you want. It's about is it okay for your wife to work? What do you think? <clears throat> I phrase it a certain way. Is it okay for them to work? Um, it's okay to, yeah, it is okay. It's mm-hmm. up to them to work and have a career. You can't stop them. But I think yeah, there should be like a limit when it starts to affect your like family. For example, they come late and you're there early and you're looking after the kids and stuff, and you don't have that thing. The kids don't have a mother role figure. Yeah, mother figure. Mm-hmm. In the life, then yeah, I think then she should like cut hours or stop working fully. But I think yeah, overall yeah, women, even men, they should try to like become self-employed or own their own business so they have their own hours rather than living into the nine nine to five. Yeah, the I would I would add to that. What about um, <clears throat> in the dynamic? Yeah, who usually. Who would be working, the woman or the man? Who would be the main earner? That's what I'm asking. Man, why? Hmm? Why? Because that's how it's been since time. Let me give you the argument that is yeah. given, okay? But what's wrong with the woman? Why can't the woman be in charge? What would you say to that? I got an answer, but I'm just saying. Well, I just want to get your opinion. Islamic values. All right, that's Islamic, my reason. Islamic values. Okay. Yeah, the man needs to provide for the woman. Okay. Yeah. What about you, Jamie? What do you think? Um, yeah, I don't see no problem with the woman doing it if she wants. Leading the full house, yeah? I'd say balanced equally, not one better than the other, they can both equally. But let me ask another question, let's say you're earning 20k and she's earning 40k, double your salary, how would you feel? Okay. You wouldn't care? No. Okay, that's fine. Garris, what do you think before, because I, I, I want to say something. What do you think, Garris? I want to ask you two, what do you think, and Sadi, what do you think? Uh, after guys, I'll say. Um, I think it should be the man. No, 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 well, I'm asking you, yeah. if she earns double your salary, how would you feel as a man? It's 50, I'll be alright, but not alright, but I don't know, I don't know if it's because of our culture, society. Are you jealous? No, Is no, that no, what no, you're no, saying? Jealous. Are you jealous? No, 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 no. jealous. <laughs> what would you think? Is that's 50-50 in it, it's like... I'm alright, but I'm not alright. I'm alright, but I don't care, but... Why, why, why are you 50-50? Huh? Yeah. Do you not believe women should earn more than men? Is that... No, I should. There's, 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 there's no problem with it. But... It... I think I can explain. So yourself, personally, yeah. some people might not care, but it's the outside 
that might care. People might not know. No, 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 no. no, no. What would you do then? I don't think people will know. People won't know. Like, no people didn't know, and it was just yeah. between you and the girl. Yeah. I wouldn't care. You wouldn't care. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, same. I wouldn't care. Oh, you wouldn't care. To do with the outside. Yeah. I wouldn't understand yeah. it. I care. I care for 100. All right, don't be one. Gazillion, gazillion. I know you're going to answer. Trillion, trillion percent. <laughs> I care. No, I'll tell you straight up. Let's yeah, say if my wife is earning. Yeah. Is your wife? No. Okay, if my wife, actually no, yeah. yeah, give me the money. But <laughs> if my wife is earning fifty k or whatever, and I'm earning thirty k or twenty k or something, yeah. yeah, that's a big problem for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, why? She's earning fifty k. That means she's doing fifty k worth of work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's pretend she doesn't have a business. Like even even that, to earn fifty k, you have to work hard. Okay, yeah. let's just be honest. Fifty k. She's doing fifty k worth of work. I'm only doing twenty k worth of work. Mm -hmm. Okay, number one, she's gonna whenever or eventually, inshallah, she'll have children. Yeah. She's going to give birth. She's going to bring human beings to his life. Yeah, I don't know how many, inshallah, many, many, maybe a football team. All right. But she's Yo, going to, she's going to reconsider, <laughs> reconsider. She, she's she's going to bring human beings into the world. Yeah. She's going to definitely be good at stuff which women are really good at. Okay. Yeah. I'm good at cleaning. All right. So I'm going to make sure I do the cleaning. But cooking, I know I'm, I suck at cooking. Okay. It doesn't matter how much I'm I, the chef, I try. Come yeah, on. you are the chef. You are, um, you know, I'm not that good at cooking, so I know they cook. So am I really expecting someone who earns 50k, mm. they have the qualities that you need. As a woman, they have that motherly, caring quality, which is the home quality, right? Mm. They have all of that. Mm. Plus they're getting 50. They're doing the man's quality, which is the protection and the provision. Mm. They're doing that. And I'm getting 20k. Like, I'm here with the, you know, are you in benefits? <laughs> I'm like, I'm the, you know, giving, giving her benefits and she's giving me pocket money. That's not right. Because what is what am I doing then in that house? Oh yeah, you could be a house husband, all right. So when our milk is milk gonna come out of here? Do you know what I mean? Like it doesn't work like that. You're looking after children and stuff like that. There's so many qualities women have that I, as a man, I I, I don't have that. So how am I the one thing I'm meant to be good at, which is earning and providing? How am I not gonna fulfill that thing? That's why I have a big problem with it. No, but then then again, yeah, she might not even do a nine to five. She might own a business or something, and she's only fifty k. And also, why are you expecting her to cook? Okay, I expect what? her to cook because I'm crap at cooking. Maybe she can buy buy food for you every day. What like takeaway? Yeah, that's unhealthy. Who cares? I care. I'm. I'm inflation. I'm going to inflation. Cost of living. Inflation. Cost of living. Forget cost of living. Inflation in my stomach game, is going <laughs> up. Inflation all over the upper body area is going but up. But then, down. if you think about it, you know um the prophet's um story where I don't remember the name. Khadija. Yeah, she was a businesswoman yeah. and Prophet Muhammad wasn't as rich compared to her mm -hmm. and she still married him. After she married him, yeah. the first thing she did is she gave all her wealth away. Is it? That's the first thing she did. She gave her wealth away yeah. and, and she looked after Prophet Muhammad. And Prophet Muhammad, when he, uh, when the angel Gabriel Jibreel, he came and he gave him the message, who did Prophet Muhammad go to first? He didn't go to Abu Bakr, which is the first male Muslim. He didn't go to any children. He went... First, straight, he went to his wife. What does that show? From an Islamic perspective, when you're given responsibility, who helps you carry that responsibility? Your woman does. And if your woman is carried, if she was out in her 9 to 5, Khadija, I'm going to have to compare it. She's on, out on her 9 to 5. Do you think she's going to be there for Prophet to come rest his thing? She'll be like, oh, I don't have time to listen to you. That's as in, I'm not saying the Prophet but I'm saying in this day and age, mm -hmm. our uh, equivalent, that's the thing. I'm, I'm too tired. Why are you coming to me with your problems? You barely do anything all day. Yeah? You but it's so, so normal that is having a 9 to 5 as a woman, yeah, and then living, uh, being married and having kids at the same time. It's so normal that is. Of course it's, it's so able to do it. Yeah, so my, my but opinion... But it's like, mm. the question is, yeah, why do you think, yeah, a woman will want to give her career away? Let's say they went uni four years and, yeah, she mar gets married to you and all of a sudden you expect her to like give away everything. No, that's simple. Okay, so the Why first, the first yeah. question you asked before, yeah. you said, what would happen if they earn 50 k money 20 yeah. That was my problem. Yeah. So what I would do as a man then, I don't want them to stop earning 50 k because they can use that for their shopping or like nice stuff or if they want to help their own family, they can do that. Yeah. But my problem is that I would have to step up as a guy and I have to be earning the same more. I have to, you know, I have to be contributing more. They shouldn't be looking after me, I should be looking after them. That's my point. I want to look after my wife, okay, and family. Yeah. <clears throat> mm, what was the question you just said now? Uh, uh, about 95, their career, why should they give up? Yeah. They should never give up their career, okay? If they studied and if they've done all this hard work to get to where they are and they want, they see themselves, their dream when they were a kid, they, I want to be a doctor, I want to be an astronaut, I want to be whatever, mm -hmm. yeah? You do your dream. That's perfectly fine. 
But my dream or my idea is you do your dream as much as possible. I have to be making sure I look after you and your dream. That's my point. Do you understand? She can't be doing her dream and looking after me. That's my point. Don't give up your career. You know, so, and, and if it affects children, I think that's where you're going, isn't it? If it affects children, like they're not getting enough time, that's the conversation you sit down and say, okay, how do you make sure you get your dreams fulfilled as well, but we also look after children because our children are our dreams as well. Surely you have to have that. Okay, let's say your wife comes up to you. She's like, well, I'm earning 50K, you're earning 20K. I think it's more smart. If you look after the kids and I go work, what would you do to that? No, it's not smarter because the nappies would be on their forehead. Okay? <laughs> no, but That's it's smart as in like she's earning more money than you. So it's like, okay, you're earning 20K mm-hmm. and she's earning 50K. Which one would you rather have? In money wise, gone. Which one would you? 50K is better. Yeah, so 50K. Yeah, so So why? if you need to choose between the 50K or 20K, you said 50. Yeah. Meaning, if she comes up to you and she's like, oh yeah. Well, <clears throat> you're telling me to look after the kids, but I'm earning 50k, mm. our income will be kind of shit and we'll be struggling. So why don't you look after the kids and I'll go and work? What and would that, you say to that? I would say, okay, that's perfectly fine. You can do that. How long until you become upset and you become broken that you're the one working your socks off as a, as a woman? How long before that breaks down? That's my question back. Because there, there will be a time where she'll yeah, be like... Yeah, but you can, say the, the, you can say the same thing as for men as well. No, you can't. Yeah, you can. It's a Do you reckon, job. yeah, each man goes, yeah, to work, they're like happily there every single day? No. no. They just need to do it because they have responsibilities. If she's taking their responsibility, yeah. for example, single moms, yeah, they know they have a responsibility. No matter what, they need to go work and feed the kids. That might be her mindset, then what? But she's not saying mom, I'm here. No, but still. She kicked me out already. No, but what I'm trying to say, you were saying, yeah, they, she can't feel like. You know, like men can, but yeah. she can. She can be like, oh yeah, that's my responsibility. No, she will feel like what a man can. Yeah. But that's not fair. Ooh, conversations getting heated. But anyway, uh, just wanted to check. Have you subscribed? Are you following us on Instagram? TikTok? And listen, yeah, we all have opinions, right? Why are you not commenting down below? Hurry up. Follow us, subscribe, comment, and yeah, thanks, man. You said, yeah, a woman... Well, sooner or later, she will get distressed and stuff and she will want to leave the job and yeah. But what I'm trying to say is... not leave the job. Um, yeah, but like, you know. No, she said, I said she'll get fed up of doing all the hard work, bringing the big money and I'm at home doing nothing. And you said, oh, but you know, what if you, what if you make an agreement that, okay, you be the household and you look after, you do all the home stuff and I'll do the outside stuff. Yeah. yeah. So my answer to that is very simple. Naturally, okay, men... Even though men, we complain and we say, oh, we don't want to go to work and we don't enjoy it. At the end of the day, there's a level of acceptance that a guy has that, you know what, I need to do this. A woman, no matter what, no matter how feminist you are or anything, there will come a time where you're like, why am I doing this? Why is he not putting his weight? Do you understand? I will never as a guy, I don't think, I don't know anyone else here, but I will never as a guy be like, why is she not pulling her weight? That doesn't, that's not a question that I ask, you know, I'm going to pull the weight for, for everyone. That's naturally i think naturally that's how all men feel on the baseline that i will pull everyone's way but woman i can't imagine her saying i can't imagine her not saying that you know why is he not pulling his weight that's just that's just i think how nature works how how in religion as well it works like that as well but i think yeah depends what they do for example if they do a nine to five year over but then it depends what kind of nine nine to five they do they could be a manager or like someone high up they do barely any work. You know, there's people, you just go in, they just have their coffee on the computer, go home and that's it. And, or maybe she has a business. It's all automated. And at the end of the month, she's getting a paycheck. And she's still at home looking after the kids and you, and you're still getting paid more than you. So how would you feel about that? Would you marry such a woman? Would I marry such a woman? Yeah. She got a business and it's automated, so she doesn't really need to do much. And whatever she needs to do, she can just do it on the laptop two three hours a day perfect live at home brilliant still make more money than you then perfect wonderful so you stay at home yeah. you're on your laptop yeah. make your money yeah. you all that money yeah. you use it on yourself if you want to buy me a gift from time to time please by all means but i'm going to make sure i'm outside still earning for the thing i need to pull my side i need yeah, to pull my weight huh? that, that will work you use your money for your things this is gen- genuinely if you're saying let's pretend she's a millionaire because she works yeah i will still feel less that i I've, what have I done here? She's given birth. She's looking after me. She's paying for everything. Well, what am I doing there? What's the point of me being there? So my thing would be, 
Darling. <laughs> Darling. <laughs> Stay at home. You earn your money. You make your money and everything. That's fine. All right. But I'm still going to go out and I need to do my own thing. I need to get my laptop and I need to sit there. But the question here is, yeah. yeah. Would you feel a less of a man if she's making more money than you? Absolutely. I'd feel less of a man. So uh, would you still marry a woman like that? That's the question I'm trying to ask you here. Would I marry a woman like that? Yeah. She's making more money than you. Mm. Okay, say let's say you're. She agrees to but the point. Wait, I, wait, wait. Mm. She agrees to the point where you're providing for, like, you, she, you're providing the food, the, okay, yeah, yeah. all the main expenses that you're Islamically required to do, mm-hmm. and she does all the other side. But she still earns more, more money than you. How would you feel as a man? Yeah, <clears> I don't. <throat> I don't like that. I feel less of a man. That's the truth. I would feel, you still marry a woman like that? That's one. But how would, I don't think I'll know everything or, you know, in, enough like that to to know, oh, am I marrying this lady based on her money? I would, that wouldn't even be a conversation before marriage, to be honest. That Are you making enough? I know. That's not a conversation. Oh, but that's not the question. The question here is, yeah, let's say yeah, you're working your ass off and you're earning 30k and you get married to this woman and they, then you find out she's earning 50k. Obviously, you're going to disclose that stuff like the, how much money you earn in finances and stuff that's part <clears throat> that's part of marriage isn't it? i'm never gonna ask the lady how much you earn i i don't want i never ask that that's not nothing no like, but through talks yeah you might end I up can, just no, talking i can about ask it. what do you do what do you do like what's your you job? wouldn't what i'm asking here yeah no this is not before marriage this is after marriage yeah. oh after marriage yeah, yeah, yeah okay go on. so yeah. why are you saying are you gonna marry her after i'm already married no, but so, sometimes you might. I'm not going to divorce her because she makes well. more money. Than you me. never, you never know. My point is here. Yeah, the yeah. point here is, are you going to live with a woman that earns more money than you? If I'm already married to her, yeah. How would uh, you feel? I already said I would yeah. feel less of a man. Yeah. So what would you do? You're married to her, and yeah. well, you uh, so find I'll out pull... now she's earning five k and you're earning two k. Yeah. So I'll put it together and start working my ass off more. That's it. That's what else is there to do. So why I haven't like what would you do differently? That's go on. Okay, let's put. Uh, let me give you a scenario. Okay, let's say I'm working an admin job. Yeah. Okay, and I'm earning twenty five k. Okay, twenty five k. And my uh, wife, they are and they got their own business or they are just managing something in in a in their workplace and they're earning forty k. Yeah. Okay. After marriage, oh damn, you earn forty k. Oh, I earn twenty five k. Damn, I need to put it together. Start applying for jobs start working my way up the ladder if i have my own side project or side business start escalating that because there's going to be a time i don't want to go up to her and say hey can you lend me this can you help me no that shouldn't be the case even before i marry them if i find out that they're earning 40k i'm only earning 25 or 30k or something i'll start being like oh damn i need to step it up i need to put it together because after marriage i don't want there to be any questions i, I want it to just be a flowing thing that's it is that not a is that not a good thing? That's it. It's just about. But let's be realistic here. Yeah? You're earning 25k. Yeah? How are you going to jump from a 25k yeah, job yeah, to a 40k job? And how long yeah, do you reckon you're going to last? Yeah? I mean, how long do you think it's going to take you for, to, for you to get to 25k to 40k? It's not going to take a year or two years. It might take like three years. For them, for, for them three years, would you be able to be like, okay, mm, it's fine. I'm working my ass off. Sooner or later, I'm gonna get there for the three years. But that that question is very like hypothetical, so it's difficult. Unless I'm in it, I don't know what I would do. Do you know what I mean? That the three years, two years. Yeah. But I can tell you now, like in my current situation, I'm not married yet. Before I get married, I'm I'm gonna step it up. Or I am stepping it up. Do you know what I mean? Like from before I get married, I wanna put things into place that the seed that I'm planting within two three years, I'll be there if it takes that long. Okay, that's the plan you have to work with. Otherwise, you can't just sit there and be like, after marriage, then I'll worry about that. You have to worry about it now. You know, that's why and it's, it's really important. We're talking about men and how we should be. Like, you shouldn't be a dad before learning how to be a dad. You shouldn't be a husband before learning how to be a husband. You know what I mean? So that's something before I marry, I'll make sure that's all sorted out. That's that's how I approach things in the first place. That's that's it. I don't agree to that point. What would you say? You're saying, oh yeah, you need to be a dad before being a dad. You have to learn how to what no, how to be a dad. I don't of think that's a thing. No. Of course no. it is. Okay, well, no. you you tell me how you so. how you think about it. Go huh? on. How how do you go about it? I think like there's so many men, yeah. They once they become a dad, they change. Yeah. Once they like the responsibilities on them, mm-hmm. then they change. Not beforehand. That doesn't mean that's good. No, but that doesn't mean it's bad either. 
I think it is. How go, is that? You can go both ways. Not really. No, yeah, but I've seen people. I've seen people yeah. change. Mm-hmm. Once they've got responsibility and stuff, they're cool. I don't. Yeah. I don't think you need to know. Or you need to learn beforehand to do something. Sometimes, yeah, you you're in a position when you get like you're forced to learn. For example, you're into a job, yeah, and you know nothing about it, but you're put in a situation, you're like, yeah, that's it, now I need to learn. Either fuck it up or either learn from it. That's how it should be. But that's that, that's one way people do yeah. things, but... That's how mm, normally people do it. No, that's not yeah. true. That's not true. Okay, so no. are you telling me yeah. when you go, <clears throat> when you become, let's say you become an engineer at site, me as a English degree graduate, do I go into engineering site? They're gonna chuck me into thing and make me start working, and then I'm gonna. I have to learn how to be an engineer before I become an engineer, isn't it? You can't just. Are you making things like you could just walk into a plant and be like, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna start fixing the pipes. That's not how it works. You have to no, learn. No, they chuck you, and then they're like, oh, this is what you're gonna do, and then you learn as you go. You won't without just, me learning like engineering saying, ever. Yeah, you're saying, oh yeah, you done English literature or whatever. L- language. Then literature whatever sucks. You, okay, whatever okay. you done, yeah. Literature is then, crap. Okay, then, yeah, I'm just saying. You apply for a job, yeah, you become a teacher. And you just know how to just teach. No. No, you don't. Yeah. You you go to the... No, this is exactly what happens because I've gone through the system. You, before you can become a teacher, even if you're an unqualified teacher, you've got no PGC, QTS, etc. You go in, before you even start school, you go through uh, inset days, teacher training days. You literally go over how to teach. It's not intense, but you learn the basic principles that this is how you mark, this is how you question, this is how you assess. You have to learn all of that and then you become the teacher. In jobs, obviously, we can't make that full comparison because dad is not a job. It's, it's more, it can be seen as a job, but it's more a responsibility. Yeah. I understand where you're coming from that once you immerse, you fully become professional and perfect or you, as much perfect as you can. But before you even dive into that responsibility, your brain should be, okay, there's going to be a kid coming in the next five months. There's a kid coming in the next two months. What can I do to make sure I'm doing everything perfect? That's my point. Do you get it? I'm going to be a husband in the next seven months. Yeah. I need to make sure I understand living with someone. I, I'm, I live alone. Living with someone, what am I going to have to do differently? I can't just do this. I can't just do that. I have to. I have responsibility. Before you guys came to my uh, house, yeah, to stay over and stuff, cleaned the whole place. And I was like, okay, what do I need to make sure? I need to make sure if they're hungry, there's food. Okay, if there's things, this is stuff I was calculating. Do you get where I'm coming from? So it's not about you're going to be the perfect dad. It's about I need to make sure I give myself responsibility. You know what? I need to think what do i what responsibilities will come to me that i need to make sure of? do you get what i my point was now i mean it's 50 50 yeah i get your side yeah but then there's Sorry. another side where you can expect something to come your way but it doesn't come the way that you want it for example um you might be doing you done a degree in the engineering and then you just apply for random jobs yeah all of a sudden you're in accountants you're saying and just you just need to learn from that you can't just like be like, oh yeah, I've done, I done English and now I'm doing accountancy. I'm going to just know beforehand what I'm doing and stuff. No, You're going to learn as you go. That's fine. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say to you. And that's fine, but it doesn't... The Let's go back to the original point yeah. so you can compare, yeah? yeah. You said um, about... The dad. Not the dad, the wife and husband, yeah? Oh. About like, you know, the money and how you react to it. Yeah. My point is, yeah. before I be a husband, before I even marry, I have to think about these things. About earning, about the expenditure, about. No, but imagine yeah, you're living right now. You got your own, um, you got your own place, wherever, and you're living on your terms. You're fine. You're like, oh, this salary does it for me. Yeah. Obviously, I will gradually upgrade. I get promotions, whatever. Mm-hmm. But you're living like decently, and then she comes in your life, and she all of a sudden she's only five k. Then you're like, my living right now is not even anywhere close. Five k or fifty k, you mean? Huh? 50k or 5k a month bro. a month okay, yeah. and then month you're like <laughs> Allah Mubarak, How much is that? <laughs> 60k a year 60K? yeah Damn. 60k 60k a year yeah <laughs> Damn. she didn't really? tell me what, what's going on <laughs> no joke okay. and then and uh, then she just like yeah you get married to her then you find out she's earning 5k and you feel like right she's earning 5k a month yeah and I'm earning this much but I'm like for me, I was fine living in this house. But looking at her earnings, I feel like, yeah, she doesn't suit this environment and stuff. Nah, you've gone about it the wrong way then. Yeah. I know what you're saying. Yeah. So then it's like, 
this marriage is not going to work out. Her living style, her, her lifestyle choices are so much more uh, rich, let's just say, or like expensive than mine. That, that's, uh, so not in a way where like she just got these like royalties and stuff, but her parents were rich. She yeah. worked hard well, for work it, hard for it, yeah. but she's earning way more than you. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's like other factors to it as well. She might have done a degree, she might have done a degree, and then she got into the right career, and then she got promotions and stuff. Whereas you done one degree, then you switch jobs and stuff. Mm -hmm. And even though you're the same age or whatever, yep. she, her career is like more stable in a way. Mm -hmm. She went up, 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 up. Whereas you like switch different roles and stuff, and you're going up and down and up and down, and like that. That's what I mean. So what's what's the problem? I don't get the problem. The, the point is, yeah, like you know, you're earning a certain amount, and she's earning more than you. Yeah. And then, would you not feel like raw, like? So I already said I I will feel like oh crap, you know, I need to step up. What you're saying? No, but step it up, I get it. Step it up. What yeah, you're saying? That doesn't mean okay. She's earning. Like, let's be realistic. Yeah, you're earning two point five k. She's earning five k. Yeah. For them, like, for that time, yeah, where you're still earning 2.5k, and by the time you reach, like, 5k, whatever, all of them days or years or whatever, wouldn't you feel like, raw, bro, like, it's not working, it's taking bare long, and then you're looking at her, she's earning 5k, she might even go to 7k, and you're barely earning 5k now. So let her go 7k. Huh? Why, the thing you're... No, but what my point here is, yeah, would you feel less of a man, yeah, would you be able to live? Yeah, I'm not going to kill myself because she's earning more than me. That, what you're doing, what you're doing, what you're doing. Because I, I really understand. I get it. Yeah? By the way, it's not coming from me. It's coming yeah. from TikTok. Listen. No, no, no. Look, I actually, I understand. I, un I really do. I really understand. But this is the thing, yeah? Allah in Islam. Let's just do it Islamically because that's how I live my life. Allah gives everyone their own risk. Okay? And then Allah also gives people risk based on... You know, like when you marry, yeah? Like part of my risk, my risk right now might be 20k or 30k or 50k, yeah? But after marriage, my risk will become 80k. That this, Allah does this in, a, in, a, in however he does it, okay? Now, here's the point which you're making. How will you feel and how will that affect your marriage, yeah? It will only affect my marriage if I think, damn, I'm earning 30k but she's earning 50k. But end of the day, I studied English. Yeah. If I marry someone from a medical field, think about this. She might be as a, uh, medical professional maybe her uh, salary I'm not sure about the salaries <clears throat> maybe it goes to 80k but from an English field if I'm a teacher that's my dream that's my dream that's what I want to be I want to be a uni lecturer uni lecturers I think the most I've ever seen at the level I am and everything would be 40k 60k 70k so maybe I'm 10k less 20k less mm. that's fine I'm going to still pick up the piece of the house I'm going to make sure I run the show she can use her money for herself. Her money is not my issue. Do you get it? Like, that's for her to use or to use however. If she ever wants to collaborate with me and we'll have that conversation when the time's right. But I'm never going to be like, damn, she's earning 80k. I'm only earning 70k. It's like a race. It's more, I think that's kind of fun. If you have the relationship with the person, like a good, healthy relationship, you'd be like, oh, you're earning 80k. I'm earning 70k. I think you can make it like that. I think if you take that, she's earning more than me and I'm only earning less and now I have to make 90k because she's making 80k. I don't think that works. That's not nice, isn't it? The whole point is you're a couple. You're like this, you know? Hmm, if together. You're, if you're it's together. Not me versus you. Yeah, yeah, it's not a competition. The feeling, I thought what you were asking me is if she's earning 50k, she's like, you stop working because you're not earning enough. That's, that doesn't sit right with me at all. I, I don't like that. My, yeah, I'm saying that as well at the same time. Yeah, no, but answer that one. That one is answered simply. I'm going to work hard. Listen, uh, my beloved, okay? My darling, you don't have to, I don't want you to work. You earn your money and everything, but I'm going to step up. I'm going to look for ways to, to make this better, okay? Is that okay? That's it, fine. Shush, finish. What I'm not going to do is, oh, damn, man, like... Sugar, I'm gonna have to step up. I can't chill. I can't live like this. I'm gonna, maybe I have to get a job which is more hard working and I have to earn more. I'm never gonna think like that. That's not. It's, maybe it's my personality. I I don't think like that and compare because because she's earning fifty k. I'll say, listen. I look after the house. You earn your fifty k in your chill manner that you're doing. If she's working like dog hours to earn that fifty k. It's not worth it. You, there's no need for that. Find a way where you can chill and earn that money, and that's fine. Is that alien? Is, is that's okay, isn't it? I think the message is if you start comparing, you start saying, oh, I'm so low that this relationship is not going to work. That's when you're going to have the problem. Yeah. You know, nice. uh, the relationship works. It's not about money. It's about how you lay your respect for one another. That's it. Mm -hmm. And you can do. Does that make sense? Yeah. I get what you were trying to say now. I was thinking, I was like, what am I saying? That's, that's wrong. My like, I'm going to get divorced. What? What's going on? But well, going back to the other point, yeah, um, 
how, for example, both both of you worked here, yeah, and all of a sudden you have a kid here. Yeah. Would you expect her to just leave her job? Absolutely. You we oh leave her job? Sorry, no, no, no. Career break, like maternity leave or whatever. That's I think. My... Okay, so tell her what age yeah, do you reckon the kid kid needs to be yeah, before she starts working again? So how how much is better maternity leave? How many a year or so? I don't know. Honestly, I've yeah, never... it's not no more than one year, is it? Okay, let's... One, two, <clears throat> okay. max two, max two. So yeah, so she's one or two. Uh, the kid is one or two. Uh, so that's it. You want to be like, okay, yeah, you can start working. Who's going to look after the kid? If she says to me she wants to start working, okay, go on, start working. So who's going to look after the kid? Nine to five, nine to five. You're doing nine to five, and she's doing nine to five. Who's going to look no. after the kid? If we're both working nine to five. Yeah. You can leave her, if you don't leave with grandparents, you can leave with nurseries, crash. There's like lots of options. In this country, there's bare options. You don't have to carry them. You so you tie them to your back and do, do like, huh? You just give it to you, like a carer or something. Nine to five. And then after five, uh, I got them. That's it. It depends on the hours, really. So you will do that? I, I don't have the child and we're not working nine to five. You have to see in that. I can't do hypothetical because I can say what oh, I you could believe, do. Yeah, okay, so if mm. you're doing nine to five and she's doing nine to five, yeah. You would give your kid away to a carer. My no. her grand the, the kids grandparents my parents like that. Oh, forget parents, yeah. Let's say you like the parents live far away. You would give it to carers and stuff. They yeah. Like, you obviously do research and find out they're not. The, weird. Yeah, they're yeah. Fine. Like he's saying, everything's well. perfect. Everything's perfect. Yeah. yeah. Like I, just I don't mind if that's the how it has to. Think. Carers, would you do that? If I know one hundred percent, then fine. I mean, oh yeah. Look, I wouldn't be we'll comfortable see. doing that. I would. Oh, I would. I would. I would. Yeah. So what would you do? Huh? What would you do? I'll wait till the kid, yeah, is able to go to nursery or primary school and then I would. Okay, so what would you say to your wife? Because she wants to carry on her dreams and she wants to carry on her career. What would you say? I'll tell her to reduce the hours. Oh, yeah, we can reduce yeah. the hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you do. You, you guys no, say that. <laughs> you said 9 to 5. If you're both working 9 to 5. Yeah. So I was giving the answer based yeah, on that. You can, yeah. What would you do? Yeah, so uh, what you just said, you'd say to her to reduce hours. If I, if I can do that, that's fine. Yeah. If you, well, if, 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 if you can't reduce the hours, then why can't you reduce your hours? Huh? Why can't you reduce hours? Maybe it's just uh, work doesn't allow it. What do you do? You have to work around that, innit? Like, whatever ha- yeah. is the situation, you work around that. It's not, you know, life, yeah? It's not set in like, stone. With me, the reason why I'm being comfortable is someone else is l- like, for me, like what, what you said as well, like that's a mother's duty, innit? Obviously, I have the duty, but I think a mother holds it more in it. And on top of that, like that's the time where you start to bond, even as a baby. And imagine most of the time the kid is somewhere else, and at the same time, imagine the care is a shit person. You don't know what happens in the background, innit? You're gonna make sure you do. Your re- okay, oh, th- yeah. that's what I'm trying to make. The point here I'm trying to make is, yeah, you say a man's duty is to provide for the family, yeah. roof, food, and everything. Yeah. Uh, mo- like woman's duty is to look after the kid and the husband. So if you're telling me you're going to work, she's going to work here, yeah, and the kid. It's with a carol. Like it doesn't really make sense to me. But you said if you both stuck with nine to fives, yeah. what where would the kid go? I said with a carer, that's what would happen. Yeah, if, but that doesn't if, sound right. No, if you're not comfortable, yeah. I'm speaking very generally, okay? With you you said you said you, you're fine with carer, so you give it to a carer. If that's the situation that I, I don't agree with that. A carer and also carer like I said, so the only reason I would give it to a carer yeah. is because I know who they are. Do you, do you know what I mean? In in that doesn't, where that I live doesn't, fix the problem no it does uh, okay yeah, i'll give you an example I, I can give a really good example yeah. my nephew yeah. his mom and dad both work yeah. okay my parents m- their grandparents look after uh, the kid yeah. when my grandparents are poorly or something the kid also a couple of hours i think until lunchtime mm. they go to the nursery okay since he was two years old or three years old or something right all right yeah. that's where they go mm. end of the day the nursery we know them personally friends and everything so they say in safe hands I would never. I do my like find someone. On, I don't know what website you find them and just give them to a kid. No, that, that's not what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is, yeah, you give for example, you give your kids yeah to your mom and dad yeah, or you give it to a carer. I feel like the kids yeah overall won't have the relationship mm. with you as a dad and a mom, dad. and that will mess up their childhood. I yeah, feel like love, yeah. to nursery, nursery is like is it compulsory to go to nursery, or is it? Uh, I think reception you nursery. To- which one? You Why have you have to, I like, think you, you keep start. take care of the kid here yeah, till it's compulsory for them to go to nursery or reception. Uh, reception one. Yeah. I don't know which one you do there, but I feel like the initial years, yeah, you should have that bond with them. I know, like many people, they like 
the kids here, yeah, they lived with their grandparents and stuff. They have a bad relationship with the grandparents that they own like mom and dad. And that's so oh, messed up. Oh, okay, okay. That's what I'm trying to ask. All right, all right. I get you. Me, and you're saying Kara. No, no, no. Kara. So the and way fine, the reason I'm be, saying Kara yeah. is because you said, what if you're supposed to stuck in nine to five job? Yeah. I get what you're trying to say. Stuck. I said, what were you saying? I said, yeah. Would you like tell her to? Or what was the question again? I said. um I thought you said if they want to do their career after two months, two years of maternity. This is what I said, yeah. So let's say, yeah, they want to do the career, but the maternity is normally one year max. And that's when they're pregnant as well. Yeah. So after birth, yeah, then they need to go back to your thing. Uh, even by the way, while they're pregnant, I would say uh, like proper heavily pregnant. I would say, but they don't. I don't think you should be working. I, I, that's maternity leave. That's mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but some people work when they're like belly is like there is birth, stuff. Yeah. So it, dep- would, it depends on the woman itself. Stuff. Yeah. People, no, it depends on the woman itself. Yeah. They, then yeah, they're allowed to choose. But what I'm trying to say is, maternity leave is normally before birth, isn't it? And you probably get like a few months after as well. Mm, just yeah. a few months. But after that, would you just tell them, oh yeah, you can? If they say they come to you, they're like, oh yeah, I want to work. No, you would, would no, you allow straight that? after maternity. No, that's not the age. how many years. That's what I'm trying to ask you for. How many years? I said, yeah, till they legally are required to go to a school a reception or whatever. Till then, yeah. yeah no, I'll, see, I'll I, I, I won't, I won't base it based on the kids' age that are by the time they're three or four. Yeah. No, Be- and I can explain why. I would say to my wife, listen, when you're fully healthy. Yeah, you've got. First of all, we build our relationship. Both of us, we build our relationship with our children. Yeah. There's, yeah, there's, yeah, yeah. They're safe, stable, yeah. and everything. Yeah. And now you feel like you know what? You going to work. Yeah. Me also going to work yeah. for whatever is going to be healthy for our kids and us. Our relationship as well is going to be affected. So if that's okay, then and you know we sit down have a conversation, talk about it. Then that's fine. Go to work. But you know the thing about um. They, they won't get the bond with the children and stuff like that. The same can be applied. Let, when the child is six or seven years old, they, what about that? They'll be at school. Do you, do you get what I mean? And that's when the child starts understanding things. But I get where you're coming from. No, but in a way, they're required to go to school. You can't really work around it, can you? Homeschool. Homeschool. You can homeschool them. Yeah, but the, most people don't. They really don't do, do that, innit? Because yeah, it's forms. expected, innit? Between yeah, that's what I'm saying, expectations. But I feel like that's the point I was trying to make here. Yeah? You want to build that relationship at the beginning. I wouldn't give my kid away to my mom and dad like at the beginning. I would want to have the relationship. I want the kid to have the relationship with the, with the mom. Yeah, obviously I'll go to them on the weekend and do that. But yeah. I want my kid to have that relationship with me and his mom first. I think first two to three years you should. You yeah, should that's that. what I'm trying yeah, to say. That's... Why she says no, I can't. I need my career is more important than this relationship. Is uh, no relationship. This relationship between my kid and me. Mm. That's what. That's the question I that's was trying hypo- to ask you. Again, that's hypothetical, isn't it? If that, if they say oh, my career is more important than my child and my relationship with you, yes. that's a weird. No, not you, just the kid. Uh, yeah, even with, with the child, I'll be like, huh? Like, what do you mean? Yeah, people do yeah. that. That's what I'm trying to ask you. Yeah, that's fine, but I don't think, inshallah, I don't think I'm, I'm marrying anyone who's gonna do that. So no, I don't bombs. really need to worry. But yeah, advice. Way, yeah, okay, well, let's. Yeah, so going back to David, do you change your answer? Now? In that way, yeah. yeah that's be, what yeah. in that way, no. Yeah. Exactly. That's what I'm trying to ask. All right. So, w- what do you do? Uh, let me, let me ask. What do you do when that happens? What do you? Uh, I wouldn't be in that position to begin with. That's it. So yeah. that's the answer we're all gonna give in it. No, but what I'm trying to say, like you guys said, no, we'll just give it to the carer. You didn't. Now no, you've now because you said that they're not just moving. Said, you know, it's not like a conversation we've had. They just said, no, nah, that's it. I don't care. That's a different story. Then, then if we're healthily agreeing that you know we're gonna make sure we have time and everything, and we'll go do our nine to five and stuff, and that's, that's a different story. Mm-hmm. If she said. Oh, I don't care about my no, relationship with the, the child, kid. and I don't yeah. care about building relationship, and you know. That's how some women are. Some women don't even give give birth because the the career is more important. Yeah, that's true. I've heard. And other people, yeah, they're like, oh yeah, well, what's is it? In that way, I think yeah, that's fine. You know, this um, no for example, born. celebrities and stuff. Yeah, they like, you know, they get the thing and they just use another woman, and she gives birth for them. Uh, surrogate mother. Surrogate. Mm-hmm. There's people that do that as well. Instead but of, they can have kids. Yeah. But they do the, yeah. the operation they wanna, to not. Yeah. They, want, they don't want to give birth. Yeah. And on top of that, they, they can raise ru- ruin their bodies and their shape and, and whatever. Yeah, like this, okay. I think what we're doing, because although it's going to go in a circle, innit? Yeah. What, what we're doing is w- the conversation we're saying, yeah, because it seemed like a back and forth. Yeah. What it was actually is what advice would we give if a guy encounters something like yeah. that? That's the question, isn't it? So what, what, is, what is the advice? What do you think? Because I'm going to think about my answer first. But what advice can you give to a person who whose partner says something like that? What would you say? If that was your own brother, let's say, or if that was your own, someone you know, like who's close to you and you want to give them friendly advice, what would you say to them? 
I think, yeah, before even getting married, yeah, that should be such a big, important question to ask. Yeah. Like, what would you choose your kids sort or of thing? Islamically, if she's like religious, she will understand like the main point of a woman is to look after kids and husband. It doesn't mean like, oh yeah, she needs to prepare like five dishes and stuff and look they uh, look after the kid all day. But like, that's the main expectations, if yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So th- I think that's why, in a way, without being too controversial, I think in a way, you know, this opening the floodgates of oh, women need to have a successful career and empowered and stuff. I think they've given a false uh, narrative. I think a successful woman has been made to look in one way, but a successful woman is the one like who's with her family in an old age chilling. I think that's a successful woman. And a successful man is also kind of the same, but their journey to that success is also very different. You know, a successful man, until he gets to that old age where he's chilling with his family and his sons and his grandkids are doing all the work, I think working hard and, you know, building that protective provisional kind of lifestyle is really important. And for a woman, I think chilling at home, literally doing nothing, cleaning, like general basic duties, doing that chilling, having a good relationship with your partner and then your children i think that's your successful route as well like that's in traditional Mm. sense and i think this job thing this work career thing has ruined it because at the end of the day your career is not going into the grave with you yeah you'll take i guess you can take your memories up to the point you're you're dead but you know like i don't know i think career for women has ruined the whole image of what a successful woman looks like you know um but it's such a nowadays it's such a uh, not dangerous it's such a difficult conversation to have it's like because the question comes oh don't you think women uh, deserve a career yes you do that's fine but why are you gonna emphasize it to the point where you're gonna forget even a man even as a guy i don't think about my career that deep my family is the biggest and most important and my religion is most important to me career is like i only want that so i can provide for my family others i don't really care about my career you know what i mean I don't care about if I'm known as Professor Islam or if I'm known as, I don't know, whatever, the comedian or the podcaster or whatever. I don't care about that. I I only care that there is a one me and I'm going to be that ver- best version of me to myself and to others. Isn't that the most important thing? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I think that oh, then, then again, yeah, this is another question. Yeah. So I feel like, let's say, yeah. Yeah, it's so recording. So the woman is earning 5k and you're earning 2.5k. <laughs> These two numbers are going to be stuck in everyone's head. But let's say you, she tells you, oh yeah, we need to move in our better area and stuff. Yeah. And then you're dependent on her money and your money together. Mm-hmm. How would you feel about that? Would you put yourself in that position? I wouldn't. How do you put yourself in that position? Where like, she's like, okay, so you're living in a place, like mm-hmm. let's say here now, and you're paying, let's say, 1.5k in rent and then she's like oh we should move we can afford to move because um i got my money as well Mm -hmm. and we moved to like near central or something and we are paying 2.5k now yeah no first uh, my (coughs) first answer is central Shut up! <laughs> no, 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 Shut up! Wait, what do you mean, Sandra? Shut up! That's <laughs> okay, the first okay, thing okay. But anyway, she um she's like, okay, yeah, well, you got your money. If you put some of my money together, then we can just like live in a better place. That's living life. That's living life on the edge. No, you're saying no. You, well, how would you? Uh, but I'd rather would live no somewhere well. where you can save money. You can like you need to save money as well, <laughs> innit? If you do that, you're not going to save anything. Think, all of yeah, all of them is just going to go. Sound so dumb. Yeah, yeah. but I feel like. When you get married and stuff, you should live only in a place yeah, where the man can afford to live. Sooner or later, let's say yeah, she gives birth and stuff and she doesn't have a job no more, you should be only dependent on the man mainly. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense because end of the day, if you know, the same can be said. Actually, what would you say then if the man becomes terminally ill? Yeah, yeah. Allah forbid. But yeah. if bad man, do you know what terminally ill means? Yeah. Like for ill, like you're, you're ill until you die like oh, cancer okay. etc if a man becomes terminally ill then what? then what then what does the woman does she work how does it work but that's that's a different scenario no it's, it's the same way that woman like the reason i'm asking is this no yeah? it, that, that's different and plus yeah i'm pretty sure you can get some how is it benefits different? And i can say the islamic version answer to that by the way 
because the Islamic answer is the woman would work by the if the man becomes terminally ill. You know, Ayub alayhi salam, yeah, Prophet Ayub, his job in Christianity, his, his name was Job, yeah. Ayub, he was stricken with so many illnesses and so many diseases and everything, he couldn't work. His wife w- worked and she used to go, and then they wouldn't give her a job because he his illness made him smell like really like horrible so she used to go and people like oh like she smells don't give her a job so she started cutting her hair and selling her hair which was like looked down upon yeah and um he, she came back and he told her off for it because she went over the limits right so this question's always been there like where does your money come from what what would you do in that situation so i think every case is on its own merits you know what i mean like if i'm term uh, not me but if someone's terminally ill yeah if so- if someone's terminally ill what do they do there's this is a question you have to ask in it, but I think everyone in will this country, answer like, different. Even if you're like disabled, you get benefits. You get, so much you benefits, get benefits, so yeah. Many That's benefits. It. There's people that get their own cars and stuff, their own drivers, yeah, own places, everything. You know what I mean? So it's. I think that question is difficult to answer. Like if. Uh, but the main point here is, I think yeah, if a woman truly, truly loves you, she will just give away her career for. The amount of time where you, she needs no, to No, she will adjust, she will adjust and she will understand. Yeah, she I will think adjust. adjust. I think yeah. giving up is not a adjust, thing. no. I mean, adjust, not giving up. Yeah, and another, yeah. another question. You know, the uh, another question to answer the previous question. You said if you're earning 2.5, they're earning 5, and they said let's move to a better area because uh, we can afford it. But that also kind of doesn't make sense. The reason why I'm saying is why are you going to increase your expenditure to live in, in a nice area? There's so many nice areas that. Because you can afford to. How can you afford to? Because she's giving you some of her money and stuff, and but that's she wants a better house. Goes, but when when she's <clears> not working, you can't. Okay. She, no, the conversation will say. be when you're not working, though. Am I going to be able to manage it? I won't be able to manage it. What, what then? What will happen? So you can't do that. That that would be my question. That hang on. Uh, the, the, that might be not even a question. She might say, "Oh yeah, well, I'm not going to look after the kids." That's stupid. That's just dumb. <laughs> yeah. That's just dumb. That's so stupid. Oh God, no, no, no. That's dumb. Yeah. If, if, if it comes to that question, that's a weird thing. It's like, what are you talking about, man? Like, when you are, when you have um, difficulty in doing a job, how am I going to keep up with the mortgage? That's that's difficult. I don't think any stand, like good person would be like, yeah. oh, that's true. Yeah, we should do it properly. I think, I, I don't know, man. Which woman are you like talking to, bro? <laughs> like, who, who, who are these women, bro? They're no, Beatles, man. What, what's going on? Like, you have a... Um, you have like you have uh, i think talking to your partner is so important like this is what i mean um this is a problem with like youtube your podcasts yeah. and mm-hmm. stuff like these clips come up and they really irritate me because they're so straightforward like what would you do if it <laughs> why are you why why are they like this you know what i mean you know what i mean what would you do if she's only 85k and you're only earning 15k <laughs> why am i earning 15k in the first place yeah <laughs> retard what are you giving me 15k for bloody hell man like i want to earn more you know that's the thing like y- these hypothetical situations are difficult and it puts you in a situation where you you want to give quick fire answers and you want to say it in a way that's like you know it's a, it sounds good but that's not how it is man there's re- reality is different and if you're with someone who's difficult about that stuff uh, you know long day May Allah forgive you Allah support you in your in your life because that's a very difficult life to live you know now Jamie okay but last <coughs> question yeah. would yeah. you want your woman to work like would I you, want them to work uh, and I never no. want them to work alright no. what about you Jim if you like it was if it was up to you and you said why would you say that's the one that's what one what What's it in my situation? Huh? Am I doing good? No, Am there's no situation. The question is, if the woman comes, if your wife comes to you and be like, uh, do you want me to work or not? And whatever you say, I'll listen to it. What's your answer? It depends on the situation. It can't just be like, yeah, f- it. No. If you're not right. good, if you can't fair be enough, good fair enough, enough. You? I'll say no. I would say no as well. I would try to, on that what, to just if make a can't. business at home. This, this is general. <clears throat> if it was up to us, if it's the woman said, us. you choose and I'll listen. I'm saying, what's the situation though? It doesn't matter. It doesn't like, mean anything. It, it does. Matter. If it's a thing and you can't, she's just. No, you're just not doing. Okay. You're you're doing all right in life. I'm yeah. good. Yeah. Then yeah, fine. Oh okay. Oh, what about no. if you're not doing so well? That's what I'm saying. If I'm oh. not, then no, we can't. Oh, okay, yeah, I need to step pick up. up. Yeah, that's that's true. In this day and age, in this day and age, middle class people are, are kind of stuck. I think that's something. So many people are having difficult conversations. You can't like assume that. Oh, that's why you should always live below your means. You should always. definitely. You should look after yourself financially. But yeah. things happen, and you know what? You have to. Yeah, that's why if you live below your means, you're able to save up for the hard times. So. Mm, yeah. You if you be, live on that, you. Yeah, yeah, you you have to be understanding. Yeah, I'll bleep it. You have to be. You have to be understanding. 
<laughs> I'm not being this stuff. You have, you have to be nice. you have to be understanding to different people's situations in it. Um before we go, okay? Um we are going to do something new, okay? An idea oh, yeah. that we come up with just to have a bit of fun. Okay, we are doing a new addition to the Last Talk podcast which might surface every now and then which is called what is it called again? Oh, which is called I'm not dumb, get me out of here. Okay, so what we're going to do, uh let's just just one moment. We're just changing scenes, okay? Zoom. Zoom. Okay, we hope <laughs> <laughs> what sound effect is that? <laughs> we're, okay, we are back and there's you the sound effect that you're listening to. Um so, we are doing I'm not dumb, get me out of here, okay, with Jamie and Garris. Um they have been randomly selected although their intelligence might be questioned as to <laughs> why this thing here. Anyway, so I'm going to ask a series of questions and the buzzer is in the middle we've got we can't afford a buzzer just yet <laughs> so we've got some a pot of cream okay and the first person to uh, buzz the buzzer we'll have to edit the buzz uh, effect in uh, can someone press the buzzer let me just test the effect no no <laughs> this guy man okay um put it in between is it in the middle no, 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 you have to see okay so we're going to ask questions the first to press the buzzer they're going to be the first to answer if you fail to answer the question will be passed on to the next person do you guys understand the rules yes okay question 1 how many bones are in the human body i'll gi- <laughs> i'll give you options 69 206 420 or 666 i i yes 69 He's incorrect, Jamie. I don't know. The max. <laughs> okay. How many? The max. The highest one. one. Second to the max. Second to max. So 420. I don't know, man. I'll say the options again. 69, 206. That one, 206. Jamie is correct. One point to Jamie. It's random. It's not. It's random. It's Question not. two. What is nine plus eight? Eighteen. Jamie seven you oh my god okay 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 next one all right o is the symbol for which element on the periodic table oxygen congratulations i don't know what word i just said congratulations all right um which oh gosh which month gains a day during a leap year February congratulations i don't know how many oh, points on no <laughs> february okay how many days does february have in a leap year 28 on a leap year yes 30 what the no. are you dumb 27. what do you mean it's 29 what do you mean he said 28 he said 30 you said 31 you're daniel you should be here come here now okay um <laughs> This is hurting my stomach so much. Okay, um in we <laughs> Okay, how many eggs are in a dozen? 12. Well done. Um next question. Which of these words I'm skipping this question actually. Spell tomatoes. Oh. T O M A T O S. That is incorrect. Yes. T-O-M. No, no, you both you are wrong. The correct <laughs> answer. <laughs> go on. T O M A T O E S. Correct. The nyal is correct. Oh, totally okay. Lovely. You get 0 points, but you're correct. Okay. Which of the following is not a continent? Is it A, Australia, B, Africa, C, Antarctica, or D, North Pole? Yes. Africa. Africa is not a continent. Okay. You s- <laughs> please please answer. It's Australia. Has to be. Uh, let me say the options again just yeah. in case. Australia, Africa, Antarctica, North Pole. North Pole. It's between North Pole and Australia. Okay, let him answer. Let him answer. <clears throat> Which is not a continent. Not a continent. Must be North Pole. Uh, yeah. N- correct. Oh, <laughs> 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 I thought you I damn it knew Australia was a continent. What country does it have? Australia, Africa, Antarctica. No, but what countries does 
Australia is his own con- continent, by the way. Oh, I thought it was a country. Yeah, sure. He's a country as well and a continent. But what other co- countries does it have inside? It doesn't have any other countries. It, because of its size and where it is, it's yeah. its own continent. Oh, that's wild. Yeah. Um, okay. And finally, no, not finally. Uh, approximately, how long has it been since the dinosaurs went extinct? Is it 6.5 million years? 65 million years? 650 million years? Or 6.5 billion years? 6.5 billion years. Garris, what is your answer? I'll say 6.5 million years. 65 million years. You are correct, Garris. Okay, I need to revise the footage because I don't know who's got the most. Hold on, hold on. We're not finished, we're not finished. Hold on. Hold on, there's three questions left, I think. I, th- I think I think Jamie's won the real battle here, you know. <laughs> the, yeah. Nine plus seven. Okay. All right. How many pounds is in a ton? Mm. One ton. How many pounds is in one ton? Oh, is it ten thousand pounds? Hundred and fifty nine pounds. How many pounds is in a ton? Yeah, in a ton. Is it ten thousand pounds? 159 pounds, Jamie. <clears throat> uh, 2,000 uh, pounds, uh, the same size as an elephant. I want to say 10,000. 10,000? Yeah, Jamie? Yeah, the same. You're both incorrect. The answer is 2,000 pounds. Okay. Um, okay. If there are 10 fish in a tank and five of them drown, how many are left? Still well done. Damn it. Garris, what were you going to say? I was trying to think, innit? You're going to say question. seven, innit? <laughs> okay, alright. Then you have, um, if a one-story house has green walls and the roof is purple, what colour are the stairs? Say that again? If a roof, if a one-story house has green walls and the roof oh, is purple, yeah, yeah, yeah. what colour are the stairs? Because no yes. <coughs> it's one-story house. Why are you being quiet? Is he gonna fall? Do you not know the answer? (laughs) (laughs) Jamie! Well done, Jamie! There you go. And last question. What should the viewers do right now? Subscribe and like the video. Well done. Congratulations. We will tally up. Jamie, Listen, Jamie, Jamie. both of you make a celebration face. I'll, I'll have to zoom into whoever won. Make a celebration face to the camera. Okay. Guys, you make your celebration face. That- <laughs> All right. And if you enjoyed, please leave a like. And until next time, bye. Bye-bye. Bye. There we go. <laughs>